It was already pink. And it was fun and everything. And we got home to the hotel. I don't really talk like this in this voice. This isn't me. We got back to the hotel. What time, Chris? I mean, 4 a.m.? Maybe 5. I'm thinking more like 4, 15, 5. Slept for like half an hour. We slept for half an hour last night. And then, I'm just telling this because I want you guys to, um, feel me. Yeah! <laughs> so, we slept for half an hour, and then, what did we do, Chris? Then we got in a cab. And we went to the airport. We went to the fucking Lisbon Airport. <laughs> Which is slightly bigger than the club that we're standing in. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah. But without as many doors. <laughs> so when we get to the Lisbon Airport, we all have diarrhea. I'm just kidding. No, we check in. And we're all... I, I, I swear to God, I think I was like seeing like the shrouded cape skeletons that represent death in every corner of that airport. There was darkness there. Yeah, it was awesome in retrospect, but at the time it was pretty fucked up. So, I and my colleagues, uh, Moses, Lockett, and Josh, we um, we checked our bags and we got on an airplane, and I sat behind two extremely noisy children uh, who might have had a swine flu. Uh, you and then I got off of the airplane at some point. You gotta say the flight was pretty awesome. The flight was really a great bit of smooth. fucking hell of a job. Well, that, I'm getting there because the, the, the one good thing I'll say about today is that I'm a fan of aviation. My father was an aviator. My father um, was a pilot. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a buff, an air, a aviation buff, and I thought the flight was very well handled. And the pilot of the airplane is here tonight. Greg? Greg? Is that correct? Yeah, I don't know where he walked up there, somewhere. Where is he? Show yourself, Greg. When you fly for New Jersey, there's the remote chance that you might have a punk rocker for a pilot. And that's pretty cool. Thank you for taking our lives into your man today and gently correcting them to our location. Now, on the flip side of this, Greg, Greg, he's an excellent pilot. His crew are excellent, but I think it's the crew at the, at the London Heathrow Airport. I think that's who we have to blame. They lost all of our, of our my pedals and my things, my sounds. And it, it felt so awkward getting in front of you guys tonight and trying to to play. This music that, you know, because we've been on tour now for, Chris, how long? Um, four or five months. About, about a year and a half. Yeah. And... Oh, globally. Globally, yeah. I thought you met in, in Finland. <laughs> but you're... <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's been a while. And, uh... You know, you get so used to having these little comforts uh, sound-wise. You don't need them. Like, when we record our records, I don't actually even use any of this stuff. Honestly. When we record, you know, Microcastle, the records? Yeah! I recorded the guitars and lock it, I think lock it's the same way. I recorded the guitars directly into an amp. No effects. There's no effects. So it's like, you think, oh, well, he should shut the fuck up and be able to pull it off. But you get used to the new way of playing things. But the reason I have Greg, I, I want to ask Greg, it might be a little bit like flying plane. How long, how long have you been flying plane? 19 years. 19 years. Now, how, do you have a wife? 
Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, I was dying. Okay, well, I didn't mean to bring up the sore subject. But you, you, you know what it's like to leave behind and be traveling all the time. I mean, we have very similar lives. You make a little bit more money than I do. But you also have more responsibility. But the, the point being, you can maybe relate to my situation tonight. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I think. No, no, no. You, you, you're, you're amazing. But, but, I'm just, it's, 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 the point I'm making is, imagine, have you ever flown an Airbus? Imagine having to fly an Airbus all of a sudden. You have to. It's French, I know. Well, that's, that's one issue, but this other, you know, but it's, it's a whole new set of controls you have to navigate suddenly, and it's just tough. So, so I'm glad you're here tonight to share this with me. It's really cool to have a pilot that would actually say, "Hey, what are you guys doing tonight?" You know, and it's like we're planning a show. Let's hang out. It's pretty awesome. It's kind of like hanging out with um, a preacher. Because <laughs> pilots take hundreds and thousands of lives into their hands every day. It's like a huge responsibility and you know what I mean? It's, it's <laughs> God-like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give me a big hand. Without him, we wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank Chris and Sam and Jenny also for sticking in there with us. And I really do, I honestly, all joking aside, I really do want to apologize if, it, if you're disappointed. I promise you that we'll be back and we'll hopefully make it up. If you're not disappointed, then just ignore everything I just said. For that <laughs> and I think that, hold on, I'll, I'll go see the guys and I'll sort out one more song or two. Oh, God! Would that be okay? If we played like three more songs, would that make the whole show better? Would you forgive the floor pounds that falls over?